Hey folks, Vic here with your weekly trade video for Friday, January the 27th, 2023. First of all, a huge thank you to all those who uh, took advantage of the deep discount annual subscription price that we offered uh, during our London Close Trade webinar on January 16th. We had such a nice reaction from our traders. Uh, I want to just show you a few of the comments that I've received. You can always, I'll just put them up here and you can always uh, pause the video and uh, read them on your own here. But yeah, just really nice. Um, this is just, I don't know how many, one, two, three, four, five, six comments. So yeah, really nice. I like this one here. This strategy is mad. <laughs> it is pretty good. Um, in any event, for this week's video, I've strung together a series of London closed trades uh, since Monday. Uh, these trades just continue to pile up the pips over and over very reliably. But even better, uh, members are already starting to take these trades and, and see profitability and that's what it's all about. I'll keep showing these trades as long as people like to see them. Uh, maybe you could just let me know in the comments. And uh, yeah, if you do like them, please be sure to hit the like button and also subscribe to our channel by hitting the button in the bottom right corner of the video. Okay, so here we go. Uh, I have a total of four trades to show you, so I hope you can see how nice and consistent and repeatable this setup is. Okay, so let's start off with uh, trades from Monday, January the 23rd, and uh, the Euro-US dollar pair. Uh, this was a slightly early trade. I wanna show you first of all that we were at this level. See this daily level here? That's a daily level of resistance. See how price stopped? And then it went up, and then you can see on the four hour chart how we, we broke above that level here on coming into Monday. So old resistance becomes support. Okay, so we're looking for resistance levels on our higher time frames, and obviously we had one on the daily chart. So on our entry time frame, uh, what had happened is the we had a stretched range coming down into this support, and um, this was a, a a slightly early trade. This is actually when we start looking for the London closed uh, trades, but it was well, it was properly set up. It it, it hit, like I say, that's uh, that support on the on the daily chart. Uh, and this was actually taken by one of our new members and he took a one-to-one -one on part of it as it went up like this. He got, he got filled right where the circle is down here. That's where he got filled, right down in here. And uh, he took a one-to-one -one on part of his position on the way up and then he took a two-to-one um, at, a, at a suggested target. I, I have suggested targets in the course and uh, for the second half of his position. So overall, a one and a half to one reward risk profit and that's great. Uh, it's just fine to take profit like that as you're learning the strategy and getting more and more comfortable with it. I mean, you can always adjust your trade management strategy as you gain more experience, right? Uh, like in this case, a person could have simply moved their stop to entry once they were up one to one, like when it got up in the air and just put your stop at your entry and, and just leave it for two to one. But this is all hindsight. You, the thing is you need to have a, a plan in advance, right? So, but in any event, a nice little trade there. And that was on uh, the Euro US dollar. Let's go over to the British pound. There was a trade on the British pound this day as well. Uh, see this? That's support right here. Do you, do you agree or can you see that? I think everybody can see that's support. Okay, so we go to our entry time frame. Well, what do we do here? Well, it hits this level of support, which was also a stretched range at the same time. Okay, so. Um, and this was also slightly before the London closed time window, okay, uh, when we start to look for trades. But like the Euro US dollar, it was well set up, okay, so it's a valid trade to take. Now, one of our members who's new to this strategy took this trade and he took a two to one out of it, okay. Um, so this is where he got in, right? This is the circle down here. That's where he actually bought it. And then he got out of it right here for a two to one reward risk trade, which is great. I was very happy for him. Um, so I want to show you something here though. So, uh, and actually his entry was a little bit lower than, uh, the objective entry. Uh, neither, either, either entry would have been fine. You would not have been stopped out. So he used, what happened is he used some discretion on this trade and he ended up with a two to one. Using discretion is something that obviously, look, it's, it's your account, your money, any, anybody can do what they want. But I want to show you the way that I teach so that you have a consistent way of handling these trades. In this case, um, notice that after we got in right here, what happened? Price kept going down, didn't it? It went against them, never hit the stop. Okay, and, and uh, by the way, the stop, as I should mention that, is is a that's something else I changed in the new uh, LCT course. 
So to, to make it more objective and to take into account the volatility of each individual pair. And it's, I think it's a great way to trade it. But um, anyway, kept going down, didn't hit the stop. And it had this really super nice bounce up into here, right? And that's where he got his profit, okay? Which was great. However, in the course, I teach this situation differently when this happens, okay? And for the sole purpose of making everything as objective as possible, that's why I teach it differently. And the way that I teach it, this would have, uh, would have been a break-even trade, okay? So um, I, I'm going to leave it at that, and I'm going to call this a break-even trade, even though, like I say, the member got a two-to-one. And, um, and, and, and like I say, using discretion is, is something that, you know, everybody is free to do on their own. Let's move on here. Let me just do something here with my phone so it doesn't keep notifying me when things are happening. I want to go to the not the last one we had for the day, the third trade. Just three trades in one day. It's pretty nice. Um, so anyway, this is on the Aussie yen pair. And let me just go back to our... So what do we see here? Well, look, we have a, um, a stretched range. Let me get this out of here. I want it, We have a stretched range, but we have... What we're doing here is we're hitting... We are hitting this right because price just kept going straight up it didn't stop until it hit this and then after being in a stretch range and being within our london closed time window which is right here it hits it finally stops up here like there's nothing to do here it just went straight up so then we wait for our qualified swing rate here price rallies here was the sell rate here we actually talked about we chatted about this in the in the in the room um when i don't always chat in the room by the way just so you know I, I i don't this is not a call service as time dictates obviously i'll help out but um i get busy with these things too and so sometimes i can't always be chatting but in any event this is the objective entry chop 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 didn't do anything didn't get up one to one didn't go above uh, didn't take our, our stop out which was actually well above here and then it goes down to this objective exit this this exit strategy right okay um so this is the suggested uh, profit target that I go over in the course. All right, so yeah, just to recap, uh, three day, uh, three trades today, uh, Monday, January 23rd. And I won't say that all three were winners because of my comments on the British pound US dollar, even though the member who took the trade did get a two to one. But as per the objective rules, we'll just call that a break even day. Okay, so two winners and one break even. Okay, well, there were no trades on Tuesday or Wednesday. Okay, we had uh, those nice trades on um, on Monday. And that's what can happen. I mean, you can't ever force anything. Like, if you don't follow the rules, then, you know, I, I have no idea what results you're going to get. Yeah, you, you're probably going to lose. But, you know, following rules and, and staying disciplined and, and sitting on your hands when there's nothing to do can be very difficult. It's very challenging in trading because you're sitting in front of your computer. You know, you feel like, geez, I should be doing something. And... No, you don't do anything unless the rules are, are telling or are, are, you know are set up correctly. So uh, anyway, let's go through this. This is on the Euro US dollar and it was uh, on Thursday, uh, the uh, January the 26th. And so um, what had happened is that if I go to the one hour chart, uh, this is where the, the day opened up uh, right on this blue vertical line and it just kind of chopped around. Then it dropped and the, and the range got stretched and it hit this level here. Well, you can see it on the one hour chart. It's a really good level. And we're now we're interested in it because we're not we're not interested in any other of these levels here, nothing, and be, until the rules are met. And the rules are that we need the stretched range before we do anything. And uh, you can see that level on the four-hour chart too, uh, which was right here. Really good level. Look at the look at all the wicks in here that keep hitting it. And uh, in fact, we had a trade on this on Monday, didn't we? Uh, that we saw. So. So it comes and hits it again, this time again with a stretched range. So this is all good. We have an uptrend going on too, which is kind of interesting. That's not necessary for this strategy, by the way. You don't actually even have to know about trend to trade London close, the, you know, the London close itself. Um, but in, in any event, uh, this should stay with this. When it came down to this level on our entry time frame, now we have something interesting going on. We had this qualification right into here. Uh, by price stopping and going up and, and we had our entry where this orange circle is right here price went down a little bit against us not much at all and then it went straight back up chopped 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 chop. and by the way it uh it got up to a one-to-one -one reward risk ratio i think uh right yeah right in on this candle here on this blue candle let me zoom that in this blue candle so then you can you know you have choices now you can put your you can take profit 
for one to one for part of your position. You can put your uh, and then move your stop to your break even uh, to your entry, or you can leave it and put your stop to break even and go for two to one. That's where this orange circle is. That's two to one. This is two point six to one. It kept going up. I don't know if it quite made uh, three to one. It might have actually. So you can see that. I mean, again, a very simple, straightforward. This was. I, 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 it's just objective. There's just nothing to think about when this happens. All the mute, the news is all out of the market. Um, you know, you, and, and it doesn't mean that they can't lose. It could have kept going down, but it, that is really rare. It doesn't often happen, well, at least historically, you know, since 2010. So that's a pretty good sample set. So um, anyway, that was on the uh, Euro US dollar and it was on the um, 26th of January, 2023. And uh, by, I'll just I'll just recap this. What we'll do is we'll call this, you know, I don't. It depends how you want it. I mean, I could call it a one and a half to one reward risk if you took, you know, one to one, then two to one. That's an overall one and a half to one. I could call it a two to one if you just unskill. Like I don't know what to call it because I don't know how you personally are going to manage your trade. So what do I show? For one person, it maybe it's a two to one. For someone else, maybe it's a, you know, one and a half to one. Maybe somebody else got it for a up to this other level up in here for a 2.6 it's all you know i everybody's trade management plan is different and that's the one part of trading that's always going to vary that's why somebody's results really are irrelevant um to what you're going to get because you you're going to probably do things differently than they do so um i'll call it a one and a half to one it doesn't it doesn't really matter i just want you to see the potential in these trades so if you add up all of the trades from this past week the potential reward risk is over six to one. And I say potential because like assuming a person even takes the trade in the first place, trade management is the one part of trading that's always going to be dependent on each person's trade management plan. Okay, their risk tolerance and all that kind of thing. But I just want to show you the, the, the tremendous potential in these very simple setups. I've said so many times, this is a very objective way to trade, which means like I can't fudge the results because obviously if I did that, I'd be called out by our members. Like they'd be going, hey, you know, you said this and now you're doing something different, right? So it's very transparent and it, you know, it just flat out works. Anyway, thank you so much for listening in. And again, if you could please hit the like button, I'd be very appreciative uh, as it helps us to reach more people through YouTube's algorithm. Alrighty? Hope you guys all have a great weekend and trading week ahead. Take care.